Hey guys, this is a quick quick tutorial on how to use optical flow and some tips on how to make it look better. Alright, so I just created a new project as a tutorial for you guys. I'm so first I'm just gonna show you how to use it. You're going to take a clip and uh I guess I'll just do it again. You're going to take a clip wait yeah there you go. Okay. You're going to take a clip and then uh, you're going to go to where you want uh, slow-mo to begin. And you're going to press Command-B to cut it. And then you're going to go to where you want it to end. Press Command-B to cut it. Now click on the little clip. Uh, go to the time remap right here. Go to slow and go to uh, go either 25 or 10 because 50 doesn't need optical flow because it looks fine. 25 and 10 needs optical flow. 25... Oh, okay, but 10 needs it really bad. So then I'm just going to press 10, uh, and then it's going to slow-mo it like this. 10, it'll slow-mo it, then you click on the clip, go to the time remap, and then you'll see video quality, normal, frame frame bend, blending, and optical flow. Click optical flow. But I've already done this, so I'm just going to delete this, this, and this. Okay, so here's your first tip on what not to use optical flow on. If you have a clip where something is moving rapidly, do not put optical flow on it because it looks so stupid. Like in this case, I'm using skateboarding. So if the board is flipping, do not use optical flow because it looks stupid. Here's an example uh, if the board is flipping, how stupid optical flow is. Now this is 10% uh, slow uh, with optical flow on. It looks so stupid. <coughs> Now you can see there how stupid that looked because it's moving so fast it can't really do anything with it. What you want to use optical flow on clips that the camera is steady, not moving a lot, and the person that filming or anything is steady and not moving rapidly or moving a lot at all. It's really centered and doesn't move a lot. Like this clip right here, I'll show you it, is a good clip to use optical flow on because I didn't move that much. So I have it right here. I'm going to take optical flow off this really quick to show you how it looks without optical flow. It looks really bad and it's so choppy. Okay, here's how it looks without optical flow. Okay, so now I'm going to put back optical flow back on and show you how it looks. Okay, here we go. See, it's really smooth until the last part here. Now I'm going to give you another example on uh, clips that look good. This is the same trick, it's just long lens, so it's really steady. So this is a really, really good one to use optical flow on. Yeah, so uh, that's optical flow. Um, I hope you liked the video. And uh, just remember, don't put optical flow on like things that are moving rapidly. Do it on the slow, like centered stuff. Uh, that's all I got. Subscribe to Shane Skate Media and G Code Skates SK8. Uh, all right.